Hey folks, Internet Dude here. Time for another Tesla video. I got a new FLIR 1 today for my iPhone. Um, oddly enough, it wasn't available to order online in Canada till like a month ago. But anyway, I'm just uh, charging. I've actually been charging for... Sorry about that. Last few hours on a NEMA 14-50, which is a 50 amp service. So 40 amps continuous. You can see the cables at 37.5. Let's just see here. Yeah, it doesn't even really feel warm to the touch. Interestingly, there's a a kind of a cold spot on the handle. I'm not sure what is inside of that. And I also noticed, just walking around, that the uh, radiator. It's pretty hot too down here. I know with supercharging, the uh, side uh, shutter, I think they call that, opens up and there's, there's cooling on that side, but just for uh, normal charging it looks like it does use the coolant there. Unless that's leftover heat from when I drove earlier, but uh, I probably drove I'd say at least three hours ago. So not totally sure if that's from charging or residual driving heat. Just follow the cable here real quick. Go back to the source. And you can see we're about 45 degrees there. Looks pretty hot there. 50.8. Doesn't even feel terribly warm. Look in here. The breaker's pretty hot there. 54, 56. That's about what it was a couple hours ago, so I'm really not worried about that. I think breakers are rated for 90, but I'm not an electrician, I'm not really sure. Anyway, this is just a quick demo of my FLIR 1 charging on a 40 amp continuous 40 amp continuous um, charge rate. Look in here, you can actually see some hotter spots on the LCD there. I just wanted to update. Uh, it's been almost two hours and the temperature here at the front is basically the same as before and it's been charging the entire time so this heat must be from charging and not residual from my drive. Alright, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm definitely going to be putting out more automotive videos. Thanks for watching.